Hey everyone, welcome to another Sunday Musings here on the Transport Evolved channel. I have a great topic for you today, but before we get into that, I just want to acknowledge some of the comments that have been left on previous Sunday Musing videos over the last month or so. Some of you don't like the fact that these videos are just me sitting here talking about a topic with no B-roll video or photos added to me. And I want to be really clear that the Sunday videos are essentially just a one take recording of me talking unscripted on a particular subject that I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks. Unlike all of the other videos we do, which are all scripted, carefully edited and include B-roll as appropriate and images and video to make the video a little more interesting. Because this is a Sunday video, it's a little more informal and it's designed to make you think, you know, imagine that you're sitting in a coffee shop with me on a Sunday morning talking through a topic. With that said, let's get on with today's problem video, or rather the problem that I think electric vehicles have. They're perceived as being non-accessible to a large proportion of the population. Electric vehicles have an image problem. It's not the image problem that used to exist when they were seen as being slow and boring, but now the image that they have is being playthings for the middle class, the upper middle class and the wealthy. And a lot of people have not made the switch to electric because either they can't afford or they perceive that they can't afford electric vehicles. And it's got me thinking, what do we need to see in the electric vehicle world for that stereotype to be obliterated, for people to start seeing that electric cars are now for everybody? I think a good starting point will be cars like the Peugeot 208, the new electric version, which was announced this week. We're going to see it for the first time at the Geneva Motor Show next month. I think that's a car that looks very approachable. It's very nicely designed. The 208 is a model that is, is generally seen in Europe as being an affordable car that everybody can buy. And I think that will help change that image that electric vehicles are only for wealthy people. And that image has come from cars like Tesla, uh, the Tesla Model S, the Model X, and to some extent the Model 3, because those are high-end, more expensive cars. And while the Model 3 is eventually going to come to market with a lower price point at the moment, you know, you can get one for the low 40s, mid 30s if you add in incentives in some markets. But for most people, that's still too expensive. And the average, you know, mean price paid for cars in the US, for example, is about $23,000, $24,000. And so people are not buying these cars that they perceive as being expensive, either because they can't afford it or they think they can't afford it. Um, we are now starting to see electric cars come down in price. So price is less of a problem than it used to be. But we still have that that image of if you want an electric car, you need to be, you know, somebody who has lots of money, somebody who has a second car, somebody who lives in a large house with charging infrastructure. And I think a lot of those old stereotypes, the things that prompted people to say that, have now changed. So, for example, off street parking is something that only used to be thought of if you were wealthy enough to have a house with a garage or off street parking next to your home. If you lived in a multifamily dwelling, like an apartment complex or a block of flats, you wouldn't have traditionally seen an electric car as viable because you wouldn't have had anywhere to charge it. Luckily, that is changing in many cities around the world as more governments and, and city um, groups are starting to work and put charging spaces in on the street for electric vehicles. And of course, with electric car rapid charging, the need to park your car for eight hours while it charges is less of a challenge. Uh, now you can plug your car in for 30 minutes and have an 80% charge, depending on the car that you have. So I guess my question for you today is, how can we make electric cars more approachable? How can we make them not the stereotypes of, of, of having that wealthy, expensive requirement in order to own one. I'd like to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Maybe it is that you just need to make 
more electric cars that don't have all of the fancy tech and gadgets that a lot of people don't feel they need. I think that might be a good point. Or maybe you think that you would like to see uh, more affordable electric cars with necessarily smaller battery packs rather than the massive battery packs that the, the range wars that's going on right now. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And as always, if you want to support the show, help pay Erin's salary over there sneezing in the corner, you can follow one of the three links below. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more great content. But until then, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, keep evolving. Bye.